All right, we're about to cut out, uh, hopefully, our last piece of uh, ceiling panel. Uh, we just went to pick up some 6mm marine grade Maranti plywood. That's what we've been using on all the ceiling panels and all the wall panels so far. Because it's a two hour drive, we happen to be there, they also had some 9mm. I decided to buy a 9mm sheet, which we're going to use for that uh, last wall panel where we're going to have a fairly heavy cabinet, I suppose. It's going to hold a microwave and other stuff on it, so I figured the extra thickness wouldn't hurt. So we've got a 9mm and a 6mm from Maranti today. Um, we're about to cut it. As I said before, what we figured out was the maximum we could do for our roof panel, roof wise across the van in one piece, was 68. So we've already cut the full sheet to 68. And now we're about to cut it to the width of the, uh, the last section. And that actually goes a little bit over the center, <coughs> excuse me, center support bar. And it also goes over towards the front of where the uh, uh, headliner starts. So it's going to go over by about two inches. So the width of this is going to be 29 and three quarters. So for us, this piece is uh, 68 inches wide by 29 and three quarter. Again, just as a reminder, we're using our little saw jig here, which ends up going into the system like that, so that when we do our pencil lines, we line it up with the correct side of the cut, and that way we ensure we get perfect measurements and perfect cuts. And also, by putting a piece of wood between us and the saw, we help stop it from flaring up the edges and give a nice clean cut. There we go, that should be the final piece. Now, there is something tricky about this piece and I'll explain it when we go and look inside the van. Um, we cut our, both at the headliner there, it has two black foam inserts. And I started talking about it yesterday. Um, we were originally going to take them out, but then I realized that there's an airbag. And I didn't want to do anything to interfere with anything to do with an airbag, a safety system. So, but what I did do was I trimmed them in half, so they're almost flush with the headliner and you'll see that on a video in a section in a second and also when we go to do this panel it's going to have to have some tricky cuts out cutouts to overlap with the headliner and to go around those um, down hanging parts of the headliner where the black foam was so i'm probably going to take a section of this and cut it about six inches or so so i can go in there and try and pencil out a template and we'll cut a template first from this off cut and make sure we've got all our angles and dangles correct and once we're happy with that as a template we'll transfer it to this and do the final cut so i'm going to cut this in half and we'll go in the van and we'll make the template for the all the little cutouts that's going to be on this final piece all uh, right this is just one of those things you're going to have to play around with this is my scrap piece of plywood I'm now going to try and draw where I think that the uh, the cutouts need to be. So we'll start by making some small cutouts and then adjust them bigger and bigger until we get it in place. So it's just one of those things where you're going to have to play. So you get something that you're happy with that slides in. We're trying to slide this piece of plywood into the edge here, in here, and look good. And then we'll take this out, and then when we do the full sheet, it should slide in place. That's what we're trying to do. Alright, so we made our template. This is kind of the way it worked out with the way I cut the foam on the driver's side. And the passenger side ends up being fairly square. The only thing that I had to do was 
Originally this was 68 inches wide, which is the typical length for every roof panel we put up. But I had to cut an inch and a quarter off because right where the door meets the uh, passenger seat, the sliding door, it actually has a curvature to the, the steel beam. So I actually cut an inch and a quarter off the length, which I'm going to do here now. I'm just going to make a gentle taper and play with it until I get it right. So basically, this is kind of what our template looks like. We've now transferred it to our roof panel. And hopefully we've done it right because we don't have another piece of plywood. So touch wood. Alright, this should be our the final piece for the front section that meets up with the, the headliner behind the driver seat and the passenger seat. This is roughly how it looks. These are the holes that are going to end up having rim nuts and thing, um, screws holding them through uh, at the headliner. So we're going to take the headliner, push in uh, plugs out. This is the driver side, and this is the passenger side. And where you see the half notches here at the bottom, that's where it's going to meet up with the uh, other uh, ceiling panel. And don't forget that these are larger holes, you know, this is about a three quarter hole right now. And the reason being is we're going to keep the pattern and we're going to put a little strip across which will have a much more uh, aligned hold because I had to kind of guess where these were going to be as best as I could visually. So there's a larger hole for now, but once we put the uh, the mounting strip on there, there'll be a much tighter hole that's accurately. So this is roughly what our last ceiling panel looks like. All right, we're about to put our last panel up. What you're looking at here is we put the piece of one inch foam in and what the tape here is and these cables, this is two LED lights that's going down. We've just installed them. Right now the foam is being held up by just two little strips of eternal bond tape. We just need to, to stay up long enough to put the panel up. We've installed all the different rib nuts. We've taken the five, six plugs out that held the headliner up. And we've installed uh, uh, 1032 rim nuts in, uh, in those holes, so they're ready to accept screws. Uh, we ran our electrical. I just cut a groove and two circles with the router so that I have space for the cables and uh, keep them in there and so that they don't protrude down below the uh, surface of the foam because the uh, plywood will be, uh, the moon grade plywood will be pushing up on it. This is just holding it temporarily. So LED light here running across to here, running to this one, and then going down to our uh, Yeti inverter. And uh, we're going to put a reinforce. We left the gap here because we're actually going to put a piece of wood there behind the, uh, the ceiling to give us extra screw holding power because we're going to have a little drop down piece of wood here to install a curtain rod and all that kind of stuff in the future. So we're going to be putting a piece of reinforcing wood behind the ceiling just there. We're going to do that now. And then we're going to finally fit the, uh, the ceiling, the last piece of ceiling panel. All right, we got the final roof panel in. I've got to admit it was a little bit of a challenge. Um, it was just a challenge to get all the screws and the holes to line up and all the cuts. But it's in and it looks really nice. So the final step is to put the uh, seam bar or the, the cover strip for the bar and so I just put it up really tight where it's got to be and then I make sure I mark a little mark exactly in the middle of the screw head which is why I temporarily have all the screws in because they need to be exact because I'm going to drill a fairly small hole here in the center and that's going to cover that seam and uh, we're going to drill the holes down and screw it up. So this is our cover strip, it's uh, three and a half inches wide by 28 and a half long and I'm going to take these screws down now and screw it up and uh, this roof is done.